The Health Sciences program has a pretty rich history here at St. Francis. There was an administrator here back in the 1970s who posed the question, wouldn't it be nice if St. Francis, then college, were to get into the health sciences arena? Well, we, we had nothing in the beginning. I mean, we started with nothing and we had to develop a, a mini simulation lab too to use for the students for practice. We didn't have any syllabi, any books, any faculty to start with. We, had, we didn't even have a classroom yet, so we had to rapidly get things together within a year. When the first class graduated in 1984, it was, it was very special because we saw that this came to fruition, everything that we worked for, all of the courses we developed, all of the clinical um, affiliation agreements we did, the students did well and they graduated. To know that you're putting graduates out there with the Franciscan values, with the excellent education, it's, they can't pay you to do this. This is something you, you do in your heart. And really over the decades, St. Francis University, I believe, has evolved very naturally into a university that's known for its health sciences. Our students in the health science program certainly touch lives. They are, they're out there touching lives every day. And we feel if we can give them those core values, Franciscan values to have in their heart while they're dealing with these patients, that's a wonderful thing. That's a wonderful thing to have out in the community. We have a lot to celebrate at St. Francis in terms of the School of Health Sciences. I can point to any number of successful programs. The nursing program is ranked number one in the Commonwealth. The physician's assistant program, number three. Master of Health Sciences, number five in the nation. But the facilities are what is lacking. Ironically, we have some of the best healthcare programs in the state and perhaps even in the nation, but our facilities are lagging behind. Things change, medicine changes, therapeutics change, diagnostics change, and you have to keep up. It's your sworn responsibility to keep up, to be smart enough to earn the trust that people put in you. Education needs to be a collaborative experience. We need to teach students how to learn, not what to learn. To have the chief nursing officer of UPMC come here and say, please take in more nurses. And we say, we don't have enough room right now. Our class only holds 30 seats. We need bigger rooms for our students so that we can give them the nurses that they need. Right now, we don't have that. We're not going to be able to give those, those double the enrollment that UPMC asked us to do. I can't do it. I can't do it. A new building will provide more opportunities for meaningful engagement between faculty and students. It will provide the opportunities for uh, occupational therapists to interact more <laughs> frequently and meaningfully with physical therapists or the public health students. It will allow the exercise physiology students to interact more uh, meaningfully and more purposefully with the nursing students. It will allow the PA students to be engaged with students outside of their department. What I would like to do is replicate what we did with the School of Business at Schwab Hall. I would like to raise $20 million from generous alumni, from generous benefactors, who can help us to transform Sullivan Hall into a state-of-the-art School of Health Sciences facility. Without debt, without raising tuition for our students, we would like to present our alumni benefactors with an opportunity to help us move the facilities into the 21st century. My husband Steve and I donate to this university for a couple of reasons. It's a matter of giving back. It's a matter of making sure that other students have those opportunities. And it's because it's family. St. Francis is family, and we love it here. We met here. You, you think we, we started the foundation of our careers here, and, and our, our careers have blessed us in ways that we never dreamed were possible. Uh, you know, the Franciscan tradition of, you know, we're, we, we have to help our fellow man, and uh, what better way to do that 
it's obvious to me for the long-term success of the university, this building is an absolute necessity. Uh, you have to have it. And you have to provide the latest technology to the students so that they can be uh, successful when they go out into the workplace. The buildings that we have have served us well and the, the, the ghosts of students past you know, echo in the halls uh, and they have done their institution proud and themselves proud and their families proud and now it's time for a new building and now it's time for a new way of, of teaching students uh, so that they're able to handle 21st century medicine. I really believe in this project. I really think that it's important for the university to have this building. I think it's important for our students and our faculty. I think it's important for our future. So not reaching the goal is not an option. We need to reach the goal. And I think that we will because our alumni are great people. I think one of the reasons why the health sciences programs are so successful at St. Francis is because they really are a perfect mission fit for the university. We're the oldest Franciscan Catholic institution of higher learning in the United States. And I believe that at St. Francis, we really teach our students to care with a Franciscan heart. And I believe that's the differentiator. That sets us apart from so many other universities. The heart of it all is the Franciscan spirit.